Arsenal fan TV, Mo, first thing I'm going to ask you, and some Indian cricket fans asked me to ask you earlier, to ask you what happened in the cricket today. <laughs> Listen, well, the only thing I can say in the cricket is... It, look, you in, got slaughtered. They, India, they, they, deser got bad. they deserve to win. <laughs> they deserve to win, fair enough to them. But they're a country, what, like triple the size of us. Oh, our, record, our record is good in World Cups, considering our size and our facilities. All right, all right, for, listen, cut the cricket. Cut but the anyway, cricket. listen, listen. Let's the one, get the on to the game also, today. The Let's get on to the game today. Let me just say one thing. Peace. Indians and pa Pakistanis, peace. That's all I am going to say. Love we, that. Not during the cricket, outside of the cricket. We need more peace. Though. Love that, love that. Now, the performance today, very good performance by Arsenal. Yeah, it was, but I, I'm surprised actually that uh, Middlesbrough were, were like not actually that good. I thought it was going to be a much tougher game, but mm. Middlesbrough showed us a bit of respect. It didn't seem like a team that's you know. Did we really, make really Did fine. we make them look poor? Because yeah, I, I they think, just didn't seem to be able to get the ball. Yeah, and I, that's what I was going to come to. I think it wasn't that Middlesbrough played especially badly, but I think that you know we put a really really strong team out and we did very well. There weren't mm. any real individual errors or no one had a bad performance. We were a good solid unit today, mm. and um, yeah, I think you know. It's always risky. You never know what's going to happen with football, as you saw with Chelsea, Bradford, Leicester, Tottenham, City, mm. Middlesbrough. But today we did a very professional job, so mm. I was happy with mm. that. And what did you make of the new signing, Gabriel? His first game seemed to win every header yeah. out there. He was doing all right. Yeah, he, he wasn't bad at all. Mm. I mean, it, obviously, as you know, too early to judge, but he mm. he did seem all right. And uh, I was just I was looking at him quite closely actually because with this, with this whole language barrier that has been discussed yeah. even by Arsene Wenger quite a lot, there was a lot of hand gestures and stuff like that. But uh, it didn't seem to affect him. He seemed he seemed mm. pretty solid. And uh, I like the yellow card that he got. He likes to get stuck in. <laughs> I like that. Paulista, mm. born in a favela. <laughs> Do the murder, yeah? Now, <laughs> There's a chant in there somewhere. So. Now, listen, um, players like um, Meza Ozil, Corzola, these guys really stepping up at the moment. Yeah. This is what they're going to have to do from now till the end of the season if we're going to retain this cup. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, it, it's just a relief. Every single time we get, you know, uh, we're in the FA Cup this year, it's just we need to get through it. Just no... No fuss, just get through to that next round and get this trophy mm. in, the, in the bag because this is our best chance of a tro trophy now. And um, we've always said, Arsenal fans have all, all, always said during the drought, once we get one trophy, it will inspire more trophies. You know, you get used to winning and it'll, it'll make you push on. And we need to make that a reality now. Mm. Two FA Cups on the trout will be very, very good for us. You know, it will make us the most decorated team in FA Cup history. Mm. And I want that accolade. And mm. Arsene Wenger makes him the most post-war makes him the most successful FA Cup manager I want him to have that accolade I want mm. us to start winning trophies again start shuffling them boards around the stadium and fitting in New Year's because there's a there was that big gap and um, mm. it didn't feel good mm. so we should be winning a trophy mm. every year who would you fancy in the next round I want Bradford away and the reason oh, I want Bradford good. away I've got bad memories of that man the, re <laughs> the reason I want Bradford away mm. let's put that one to bed yeah mm. as in that, have that you seen bad their memory pitch? yeah their pitch is bad but Listen, we're we're very privileged here that we've got this stadium. I want to go to um, I want to go to that stadium. I, mm. I want to go to the valley. I want to see like, you know, something that not as pleasant as this. You know, basically, mm. I, I want to go and experience a different football ground. I'm not and sure if Mister Ozil wants. Yeah. <laughs> and thirdly, from a very selfish point of view, the Shisha in Bradford is going to be good. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe Mister Ozil will like exactly. it, and Jack will. So I'll be chilling with Jack and Mister afterwards. Yeah. Um, do you know the one thing I wanted to call out uh, out with today's game though was. If you really, really, really look closely at Giroud's goal, there's so much in that goal that um, he which, won't get credit the first for. Or second the second goal, yep. sorry, yeah, yep. the second goal was absolutely superb. Yep. That whole uh, phase of play from that corner was absolutely world class play from Giroud, and Claude's probably going to smash his head against his monitor when he hears me say that. <laughs> but it really was. Mm. If you look at if you look at that goal closely again, Sanchez isn't actually ready to take the corner. Um, when Giroud starts making his run. When Sanchez sees Giroud making his run, you see him shuffle and take it quickly because Giroud has made Alexis's mind up to take the corner and to put it onto me now. You look at Giroud's starting position, he looks disinterested at the edge of the area. And he's being marked by someone. And as they're getting their defensive shape sorted out, there's a Middlesbrough player walking back to cover the post. That's his job. Mm. 
He hasn't even got his back turned when Giroud starts his run. He's just touched the post. Giroud starts his run. The marker's left cold. By the time Giroud is in the position where he makes contact with the ball, his marker is further away from him than the guy who, who is actually on the post. And because of that, the guy on the post has had to come off the post in order to try and get to Giroud. Giroud has done it all himself there. It's mm. absolutely brilliant, world-class forward play that. Really, really good movement. He's had kind of sitting there like melons like we usually do at corners. Mm. And not only that, when the ball's actually finally come into him the finish was exquisite as well so I really would like everyone to watch that goal really really closely and watch it properly absolutely world class forward play brilliant by Giroud that one team I don't want and I, I got because of, no it's Liverpool I do mm. not want yeah, Liverpool mm. because of this Gerard dream of going to Ernie's birthday and all this crap I don't want them I do not want Liverpool